Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 63. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here with the Ferrari F355 Berlinetta. Uh, we're going to be taking part um, in the Stock Tech 450 horsepower runoff. Starting off with Sebring International Raceway. Miguelo, Twin Ring, Camino Via de Montserrat, and then New York. And also, I won't try and blow up. I wait and bleed. I found the others up in me. <laughs> Ferrari master plan. The Ferrari master plan is shite. Oh! Hello! I didn't realize Porsche and Ferrari had that much of a love relationship. God, this thing is quick. This was originally B class, but I, I upgraded it to A class because um, I didn't really have much choice with the A class cars because all of them were Porsches, pretty much. That was under 450 horsepower. Uh, the rest of them were slightly over. Do not commit Spinala. <laughs> I would try not to. Finale. Whoa! Granted, this car is very light and slightly unstable. Are you telling me this car was all like had flappy paddles in that? This did not have flappy paddles. <laughs> My Xbox has been a wank. <laughs> That's amazing. I think I might just do... Um, I don't know. How many championships am I doing? Yeah, I can do the do them all. Why not? Sod it. I've actually been quite quick uh, doing these championships at the moment. I've been on my A game. I honestly think I have one of the best playlists in the world. <laughs> One more time, I wanna celebrate. Joe's you know really funny, right? Tonight, uh, where we live, we've got uh, ice hockey going on. I actually quite enjoy watching the ice hockey every now and then. Uh, I haven't watched it in probably a year now. Yeah, it's been a while, but I used to love watching it. And this is one of the songs that they would always play. Chances are, it's probably been played tonight there, so. <laughs> One more time, I want to celebrate. One more time. On my A game after taking the GP layout of Catalonia on a race around the short version. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that actually the GP version didn't get used at all in this game. That long outside bit, that's pretty much for MotoGP. However, I have no clue why... Uh, 
the Catalonia circuit modified that final corner. Right, they modified it for Formula One and were like, yeah, you know what we should do? We should turn that corner into that long, wide corner. The corner's in the same position as where the old one was. Right, they basically just took out that inside road. They removed that entire inside road. Right, which achieves absolutely nothing because it means now every motorsport has to go around that long corner, around the outside. You can't take that inside bit. And, as well, achieved absolutely nothing. Like, if Formula One wanted to use the outside corner, it was already there. They could have just used it and left that inside bit as it was. For other motorsports that might want a, you know, such a weird decision. Like, again, proving my point why Circuit de Catalunya is one of the worst tracks ever. Because there are also morons that run that track. Celebrate and dance with me. One more time. The small spider dead. You killed Spider Man. Celebrate and dance with me. One more time, music's got me feeling so free. Celebrate and dance with me. But wrong. P is actually stored in your ass. <laughs> Anyone listening on YouTube would would just be like completely out of context for that entire comment. <laughs> He's throwing in the balls. Yeah, that really sounds like something that Jake Paul would say. Jake Paul pisses me off. Jake Paul's an arsehole. Like, don't get me wrong, he's successful, he's got a lot of money, but he's an asshole. Celebrate and dance with me. He is an actual dick. Like, the thing is, right, both Logan Paul and Jake Paul were absolute knobs. Right? Straight up, both knobs. But Logan Paul changed himself four years ago, he, and he changed relatively quickly. Like, within a year, people were starting to like him again. And, like, for the past two years, I've respected him. But Jake Paul, on the other hand, is like, no, I must continue being a dick. It makes no sense. 30% discount on intake manifold and throttle body and cool oil and cooling upgrades. And anti-roll bars. <laughs> why, is, why have you sent a YouTube video? <laughs> uh, PS stored in the balls. Uh, no, so KSI... Um, he has his dickish moments. Granted. 
But I think those moments typically only come out when he's got a boxing match on. When there's no boxing match, he's just a generic, normal, quite chill guy. That's why I think KSI shouldn't do boxing. Because he does become a bit of a dick when it comes to, like, the boxing stuff. Um... Other than that... His music's crap. Like, anyone who genuinely listens to... KSI suffers from that same problem that a lot of modern day artists do nowadays. Where they will... Make random ass songs. Um... Different genres. Because they don't know what they are as a musician. So you end up with good songs, crap songs, songs that you don't like the genre of, some that you love the genre of. It's just all over the place. So you can't enjoy them as an artist. It is quite a quite a weird one. So I I don't like KSI's music at all. There are some songs that he's made that is amazing. Like It's Not Over Yet is a good one, but that's got drum and bass in it. And that'll probably be the only song that KSI ever makes with drum and bass in it. Um, yeah, that's about it. The rest of the Sidemen are fucking legends, though. All of them together. Wow. I don't think KSI is much part of the Sidemen anymore because he's been focusing way too much on himself. Like when you think all the other ones have sort of like leveled out with going half and half. All over the place is literally the name of his album. Is it actually? Is it actually? If I've just said that, because again, I don't pay attention to like names of his albums and shit like that. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> wow, and that's going to be saved on YouTube forever. Great. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, fair enough. So even KSI knows that his music's shit. <laughs> Lovely. No, but yeah, KSI doesn't seem to be part of the Sidemen that much anymore. Um, again, I don't know what he's doing in the background. He might be doing more in the background, but... I mean, when you think the React channels, he's does barely any anymore. The actual main Sidemen content hasn't done much. Like, there's been quite a few videos over the past month or two where it's just been the six minus KSI. So... I don't know, maybe KSI is finally leaving the Sidemen, and we'll have diss track season two. <laughs> that would be fucking sick. But then again, KSI is an extremely busy person. I mean, boxing, music, YouTube. What else did he do? He does something else as well. I don't know why, my brain thought he did four things. What was, the, what was the fourth thing? Prime. Yeah, that's it. Prime. Fuck, how did I forget about Prime? <laughs> it does that as well. Joe, you know, I, I think it's been like nearly an entire year since Prime was announced. Still are, are not on the shelves in the UK. Like, KSI will say, oh yeah, the Asda employees are stealing it, but come on. Prime is supposed to be fighting with those top sellers like LucasAid and stuff like that. If it's... Like, if Asda is becoming a black market for Prime drinks, then why on earth is there still none on the shelves? If... 
Prime is supplying enough for the UK. Right. America is fully stocked. Has no problems. If Asda is getting enough, then surely... Um... Surely there must be some on shelves now. Like, there is no way that there's constant shipments going in of this. And as that is constantly selling it on the black market and whatnot. Mate, I've not seen any on, like, eBay in that. I see barely any. Like, it's just completely disappeared in the UK. And they've released this six flavours now. They're on their sixth flavour. Is it sixth or the seventh? How many did they start with? Is it four or five? I think it might have been five. So they'd be on flavour number seven now then. And we still haven't got any in the UK. Like, they're probably supplying, like, 5,000 bottles, and, yeah, all, all 5,000 are getting sold. Because they're, they're not supplying enough in the UK. Not at all. Not a chance in fucking hell. And I play it on repeat. Yeah. I think this has been the most chatty stream I've done in a long time. Do I wanna know? This feeling flows both ways. It's sad to see you go. Maybe we both know. Say tomorrow day. Crawling back to you. So yeah, I think I'm going to do, uh, after this, I'll end the stream. Because then that means I've got five videos to edit. I'll do five for the next stream, which will be on Monday. That'll be another five. And then my numbers will add up and I can do four. Yeah, XIX Vodka, I've not heard. I, I know they've been dropping it. I think they've done two or three drops. I'm not sure. But it's not like a mainstream thing. It's definitely been like a fairly exclusive thing. And I think most of it's been done through Side Plus as well. So. Do. Not bad. Not bad. 12,000. We got 20% discount on exhaust upgrades. Woohoo! By all means, I would not fight Jake Paul. He is stronger than me. But I am some pussy bitch. <laughs> There's no other words to put it. I am a weakling. I am a gamer. What's that? Steam Remote Play. Steam Deck is no longer available. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, I am a weakling. And to be honest, I don't care. I don't want to be super strong. I don't want to be anything like that. I want to be me. <laughs> but, right, I will not fight Jake Paul, but I know that Jake Paul is not a good boxer. To be fair, I, I, I do think KSI got very cocky, saying, oh yeah, I'm going to fight two people in one night. Yeah. To be honest... I'll be honest, I think Joe Weller. I don't really watch his stuff, but I know Joe Weller 
was a bit, uh, what's the word? Um, he was a bit mugged off, really, that first fight. I kind of felt a bit sorry for him, because Joe Weller does seem like a decent guy. Again, I don't watch too much of his stuff, so I can't really... I did watch um, a video of Joe Weller with um, Nico Omelana. It's not Nico. I know he, get, he gets... says, like, it's not Nico. Nico. Nico Omelana. And they did this silent library thing. Joe Weller, Nico, and holy fuck. I was dying of secondhand embarrassment and I was in my own house. <laughs> but some of the shit in that in that video was crazy. Yeah, the Saline S7 can fuck off in Motorsport 1. It's just ridiculous. Nico honestly is phenomenal. The brilliant YouTuber. He's brave as well when it comes to YouTube. Even him taking the piss and voting for Mayor of London. Imagine if he won. If Nico Omolana won as Mayor of London. That would have been funny. Oh yeah, so about that Steam Remote Play thing, because um, I was messing around. When, the one thing I don't like about the Steam Deck, it, this is a very, very minute bug there, and I think it's just because of the fact when I had my PS5 it had it. Um, but there's absolutely zero software on there whatsoever uh, when you get the Steam Deck. So you can't just turn it on and start using it while downloading another game, for example. Obviously, the Xbox and all that, but PS5 obviously had, um... Watchamajig. Uh, Astro's Playroom. So you could play that while you started installing a game that you wanted to play in the future. Astro's was actually a fairly decently sized game anyway, so it gave you a couple of hours that, even if you were installing something like Call of Duty, you would still be playing Astro's Playroom before... Uh, well, you'd still be playing Astro's Playroom after the update had finished. Or like, Call of Duty had downloaded or whatever. With the Steam Deck, the first thing I did was obviously uh, Steam Remote Play. Because there was absolutely nothing on there. And I obviously started some installs. But it's on Wi-Fi. And for some reason, my Wi-Fi was shite last night. So, I think the first game I downloaded, which was Aperture Desk Job, was 4 gigs, and it took like half an hour to install. So, in that half an hour, I was also messing around with um, Steam Remote Play. And I kid you not... It's pretty good. Like, the latency is fairly low for what is a streamed game. And I haven't even tried game streaming on it yet. 
I, I really do need to try, um, like, X Cloud or something like that. Stadia's gone. That would have been one of the things that I would have tried, because Stadia actually was the best cloud gaming solution out there. Stadia was the best. xCloud is utter shit. Absolutely terrible. Uh, NVIDIA I haven't tried, so I can't really say Stadia is the best because I haven't tried NVIDIA. Uh, Sony's PS Now is meh. Slightly better than xCloud, but it's still pretty shit. Ah, oh, tomorrow I got a uh, what's it called? Driving lesson. Forgot about that. I'll get back in a car tomorrow. Woohoo! Good race. Woohoo. Result. <laughs> right, 16 grand. I'll take that. Bing -bing. Uh, we now have a 20% discount on flywheel upgrades by ACT. P is stored in the balls, in the balls. <laughs> that, that, that song is going to be stuck in my head. It makes sense now. Price is really good. It's the same as Spotify. But yeah, Tidal is fucking cracking. The only thing is, um, obviously, Tidal is a paid-for only service, so everyone who uses Tidal pays for it. It's a paid-for only. There's no free option. I think Tidal could get away if they sold subscriptions for £5 a month, um, and instead of it having the highest quality, it would be, like... Equivalent to Spotify quality. I think Tidal would be a cracking app. You know, people who just want a cheaper but still okay listening experience, you pay the $4.99. If you're looking for better quality than Spotify, pay the $9.99. And then if you want like ultra quality that's like the highest anywhere, $19.99. You know. I'm paying $14.99 a month for mine for six accounts. Um, I think I've got two accounts left, so. Whoa, buckaroo. Do I get an account? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, it's um, 
it's weird how Tidal does it because I, I'm not sure if you can just swap accounts round. So, if I need them, I'll need them. So, I'm sort of keeping them until I find an account that I can use it for. You know. And to be honest, Tidal, I wouldn't really change much other than maybe a slightly better algorithm for recommending songs. That's, that's the only thing is there's not really a great recommendation for Tidal. Uh, it, it doesn't recommend you new songs as well as Spotify does, but Spotify is the best in the market for it. But Tidal is good for finding more obscure stuff. So you might find music that on Tidal that you never would have found on Spotify, for example. Because it's a lot less popular music that it recommends. That was pretty cool, though, as we came past that road and there was another car coming the other way. That was cool. Such a good sounding engine. Forever fascinating. You are. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. By the way, anyone in chat? Take a look in the description, uh, in the about panel. I do have a Humble Bundle partner link. Humble Bundle currently has, uh, for their Humble Choice, they are selling Deathloop. I think it's like £7.99 a month. So you get Deathloop on Steam forever absolute bargain. Deathloop is a cracking game on PC. Honestly. I'm yet to try it on the Steam Deck, to be honest, but it is a verified title, so I can assume it'd be somewhat stable. Ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. Ding dong, ding dong. A cinema, a cinema. I'm still thinking about what game I'm actually going to play. Uh, on Sunday. Might do some, um... I don't know. Dirt Rally, maybe. A cinema! A cinema! All this crazy shit I did tonight. <laughs> I love this song so much. Whoa! I didn't do a spinella, but I took out a load of cones. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> Very nice. And um, we got 12 grand there. 10,000 XP. Yeah. Yeah. 
Giggity. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> CK62. Yeah, wait, who was that by? Was that the Moto Speed one? Or was that the Royal Kluge? Yeah, so for that one, I, if I'm not mistaken, it is the function key, and then you hold uh, num uh, I want to say it's either number two or number three. And um, what that does is it changes the mode so that the arrow keys, the there's four keys in the bottom right corner that have arrow icons on. Those turn into arrow keys. Uh, I know one. If you hold one, that definitely changes the top row into uh, function keys. So one all the way to uh, plus and minus. That's 11 and 12. It has all the functionality of a full keyboard, but it's only got 60% uh, of the keys. So, but it is a cracking, cracking bit of kit that I use. What do you go for in the end, by the way? Did you go red or blue? Oh shit. Nearly did a spinella again. <laughs> ah, fair enough. Same as mine. Microsoft. <laughs> Micro hard. <laughs> Fucking hell. Micro hard card. Womp. Oh, womp, womp, womp. FedEx. Office. The collaboration between Microsoft and delivery drivers. <laughs> Massive soft. <laughs> Massive floppy. <laughs> Micro Microflaccid. Have we had a race around Road America yet? I'm trying to think if we've had a race around Road America and I really cannot remember, but I genuinely don't think we've driven around Road America yet. Or Nürburgring. Maybe we might have driven around Nürburgring once. No, I don't think so. So we're still waiting for the full Le Mans circuit because we've still only just done the Bugatti circuit. So the full Le Mans circuit, the Le Sarth, Nürburgring. I don't think the GP circuit is in this. I think it's just the Nordschleife. And Road America. Very pog, indeed. Last resort, very pog song. Do you even care if I die breathing? Dynamite.
where to I begin. And I love for another. Ah! Uh. Is that a cup pot of like. Yeah, cup noodle. <laughs> oh. I love the advertising on this track in this game. It's fucking crazy. I think. I'm pretty sure they got rid of this track in Motorsport 4. I think this is our last Motorsport game that actually had New York Circuit. Hey, no worries, Pandy. I know it's going to be long before I finish streaming because this is going to be my last race. Uh, Monday, we're going to be doing five championships to catch up. Because I ended up doing three and a half today. I did one and a half the other day. And I want to be in the middle. Uh, Wolfie, I think you did it wrong then. Because when I did it, I had to sell three or four cars and I could buy one. But the only thing was, I completely cocked up and ended up buying the wrong type of LMP1 car. So. The browser version on your iPad. You may as well use your PS5. You got all that computing power. You better use it. <laughs> got 13 grand there. Not bad. And we're done. Why can't you use the PS5? Ah, uh, 27 grand. Whoop, whoop. Uh, fair enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.